on YouTube for their instant uploads for amazing content, amazing live content, and all of the updates. Let's go into our final winner's quarter. I really love that wait there by Dill. Uh, choosing to actually not grab the gyro, knowing that Slingshot was maybe waiting for Dill to pick an option. And it's just that sort of patient play style that we were talking about before. Yeah, this is gonna be this is gonna be another long one, but Dill has found a, a lot of success off of trying to play this kind of Rob where it is advantageous, not necessarily over committing or pushing the initiative, but always looking to try and take advantage of the situation the opponent puts themselves in. Combine that with some solid conditioning and you have a Rob that is going to be devastatingly effective against just some normal decisions that players end up making. Like he was punished for trying to monkey flip back to ledge. Mm -hmm. It's a very normal thing that Diddy Kongs do. And now a seed of doubt has been planted to Slingshot in very early into this game. Yeah, yeah, you know he's going to remember that. He will remember that as we <laughs> see in the top right. <laughs> uh, big fan of these Fallout games and a big fan of that uh, multiple dropped items forcing Slingshot to have to cover for rain before the storm really I came know. down. So we're seeing Slingshot not get too ahead of themselves here. They've been on the back foot before and they know how to oh, they know how to keep themselves whelmed first and foremost. Taking the banana out of Diddy's hand though is always going to be step one if you can perform it. Mm -hmm. And I mean, especially when Dill will <laughs> will have access to Gyro while still having the banana in hand. You know, it, two for the price of one. Oh, and there's the Dill classic that we see so much. Never see her grab ledge. She's always looking to, she's always hunting, sharking to mm -hmm. uh, first and foremost. But the stock drops nonetheless off of that back air. And 60% on Slingshot is definitely a lead, but nothing that you can't come back from. Assuming that Slingshot's able to find one of these premier starters like a neutral air, but the tech on the platform gets Dill out of danger very quickly. Dill just playing so well around Slingshot's banana right now, just making sure that Slingshot can't play the game that he wants to play with the banana and still being able to threaten with Gyro. You know, Dill gets to shut down Slingshot's play and still play the Rob game. Down tilt, leading them all the Ooh. way across the stage, not going for the fast fall fair, instead looking for the early recovery. Slingshot did not go for it though and gets a chance to really rack up this damage as the banana comes in and baiting Dill to grab it in order to find a punish, oh. leading into that offstage interaction that got Slingshot a big statement for the lead. I know, and now for the first time this game, we we have to see Dill playing on the back foot. I feel like Dill's had so much momentum coming into this game one, and now Slingshot's coming in, looking to get all the extra credit that he can. And using, trying to use that full screen pressure Hard tossing the banana peel, but Slingshot is just waiting on platform, waiting for Dill to give them something to work with. As the banana, uh, the monkey flip kick crosses up, F tilt still whiffing, back air hitting block, and Dill whiffing on so many of these kill moves. And as Slingshot sits at 161, this Diddy Kong is playing to what? Oh, well, he was playing very hard to hit, as all it takes is one. But 62% on the crackback is nothing to sleep on. Oh, absolutely. Looking for some more platform movement. Again, the Slingshot just not committing, just playing this circular game plan of going back and forth between platforms, knowing that Dill has a lot of strong tools in uh, when Diddy gets in her face. So they've just decided to mainly approach from the air or unless Banana is in hand, a little bit too zealous on the confirm, not waiting for the hit before pulling the trigger on that forward smash. Ooh, uh, I think that was may have actually been bad for Dill to have the uh, the banana in hand there because Slingshot fell into the gyro and normally we would see you know Dill getting those sort of Aegis reflector uh, down tilt setups uh, but just wasn't able to get it because she had the banana. Look at the backer comes in on the potential jump as Dill she's looking for a way to get back to stage an up smash and oh what a huge Ooh. punish as the stock almost dropped. And no tech as well as Slingshot is able to blast through with the barrels right through the arm rotor. 
154. This is a lot of rage on Rob, but you could potentially close up the stock with just a weak hit of back air. So the sharking uh, Dill comes in, air dodging to ledge. Oh, and the back air catches the jump from ledge. Slingshot, uh, such a tense ending to that game one. Truly insanity because that up, uh, that side B, the arm rotor on the barrels is what got the stock for stock one. Mm -hmm. But Slingshot powering through, getting back to ledge, and setting up stage very well. Th going full stage like that, I think is hilarious for starters, <laughs> because you're giving this, you're again, luring your opponent into this false sense of security. They are all the way across the stage. I'm fine, I can choose whatever get up option I want. Dill choosing to jump because she wants to try and be aggressive and have the space to come down with one of these neutral airs or to set up the space for a back air. And Slingshot ran the marathon and finished the race. And something else I want to talk about uh, with Slingshot's recoveries is if you if you look closely, he's, you know, while Diddy is charging the backpack, he's like swaying back and forth. Because uh, you know Dill is going to be looking for like those arm rotors to try and catch Diddy as he comes to the ledge. But, you know, Slingshot has the ability to kind of threaten that he's going to go around instead, instead of going straight to ledge. And it is tenuous, to say the least, of a game one that looked very strong in Dill's favor to start, but the counter pick is hers and she takes it to Kalos. See, what is the plan and what is the play? More of the same, not trying to mix up their style too much. All right, looking for an empty jump grab right there, but Slingshot not biting. And now I believe, okay, I was going to say this, the gyro was in Slingshot's possession, but it, it poofed. Oh, going and retrieving the banana, but be careful of that fastball and Slingshot. The banana actually... No way! Oh no, that was the soft hit of down air. <laughs> so it's, it's all right as... Slingshot had to use all of their resources to even have a chance at recovery, but the active hitbox of that down air, even without the spike, was enough to close out the stock. Right, and Slingshot almost made it back too. Uh, yeah. You know, Dill's counter pick almost working against her uh, because, you know, Diddy has that wall cling that he's going to be able to use to mix up his recovery. Yeah, I'm surprised he didn't wait with the cling instead just going for like cling and then immediate, just going for an immediate wall jump instead. Mm -hmm. Worried too much about the bottom blast zone, didn't pay attention to the robot setting up for the stock. Though, they're going to have to deal with that same robot in Dill who is trying to set up their item play and just dominate this center stage neutral as yet again slingshot goes for a deep offstage interaction trying to find this down air or perhaps even a back air but the chase goes from low to way up high as the roofing up air will close out the stock at four sling uh, for slingshot giving them a chance to fight their way back into an even game state but i mean dill right now no slouch already getting slingshot to red percentages 86 and climbing Right, but she's at ledge right now, has to deal with uh, Slingshot's ledge trapping. He does have Banana, looking for a two-frame into down air. Oh, but gets the jetpack confirmed. That was great. It was very late, too. Have to be worried about that for sure. But as oh. the laser comes in, Dill continues to play her game first and foremost. And Kalos letting, that r letting the survivability on the up smash be just a little bit longer, thanks to the added weight from the Rob. How do we, wow, the weave back as Dill was tunneling in on a shield grab after a couple down tilts trying to recognize when Slingshot staled their move, but Slingshot one step ahead. Dill coming down with a few uh, spinning moves, maybe trying to trying to get this kill a little bit early. Ooh, almost gets the anti-air with the up smash, but the, the monkey flip attack coming out. Air dodging off ledge, trying to get Slingshot into a bad spot, but still not falling for it. Instead, just dominating center stage with this banana. So, but as soon as it's gone, it comes back just as quickly. They were doing a solid job of intercepting, but not finding the stock after so many individual interactions. It's certainly going to be continue to be rough as the arm rotor whiffs completely and allowing Slingshot to find a back air. Yes, Slingshot was able to retreat to that upper Kalos platform, not dealing with the arm rotor at all, and right there not having to deal with the back air with the monkey flip burst movement. Ooh. 
Uh, this should be a down throw or an up throw. Choosing to go for down throw, but Slingshot mashes out. It doesn't DI fare uh, correctly, or maybe a little bit late. But you see Dill trying to find her starter, trying to wait for this Nair to come in, grabbing the banana peel. Right, 99% right now. Things could be a little bit scary for Dill. But, all right. Run up and down tilt, but doesn't confirm the grab off of it. Just getting the 20 and seeing a couple of really, uh, a couple of whiffed extensions. You see the starter, usually these grabs, but then not finding the combo. Though the arm rotor will provide the coverage that Dill needs to potentially take this game. There's the banana peel grab. Now Dill on the back foot in terms of stage position. Great up air to get Slingshot off of her. But no. right back to ledge. How many times has Slingshot gone for this drop zone banana dare and has not found it over and over, this offstage gambit not providing dividends and, extent, and instead uh, permitting... The banana into the arm rotor. Instead of going for ledge trap, instead of trying to set up a position where you can try and bait Dill into falling into your banana, Slingshot repeatedly tried to force offstage pressure, and that allowed Dill to contest offstage, find their way back on stage, and set up her own ledge traps. Mm -hmm. It was a gambit for sure that Slingshot really wanted to enjoy, really wanted to take, but I think every single time the off the runoff button, whether it be down air, forward air, it's, or an item toss, etc., I think every single one whiffed. I think so. I think in this game too, yeah. That's that's tough. That's it is. tough. <laughs> As we're going to a game three with this time Dill providing the uh, the comeback push. attempt. As we run it back straight to Kalos. Slingshot very comfortable in how Diddy Kong plays neutral on a long flat stage, especially with these platforms. You have a wide range of mobility thanks to Monkey Flip. But you gotta worry about some of Sling Slingshot being a little bit too overzealous with some of their punishes. If you get a in over your head against any Rob, especially one as uh, potent as Dill, then you better be ready to get burned. Yep. Coming into game three, back to Kalos. Let's see how things fare. Run up shield for both players. Very nice. <laughs> <laughs> we are certainly in a game three set. Both these two not trying to commit too hard and not trying to uh, not trying to find themselves in a risky position right off the bat because they know how long games can go on a stage like Kalos. All right, some shot pulling out the banana for some stage presence. All right, has the gyro, we tried to throw it down, but it actually collided with the upper Kalos platform. I think it's time to come out with that neutral there. 59 to 49, and the roll in to avoid, roll in to avoid monkey flip, but in the scramble, Dill still manages to take that interaction. A lot of the time, Slingshot has really been uh, finding a ton of damage off of a native setup or uh, finding a stray hit, but when put in scrambles, Dill has routinely found ways to get Slingshot off of them and get them back to neutral. A great roll to get back past the arm rotor in Slingshot, actually able to take Dill's first stock off of that interaction. Yeah, these arm rotors, even going for the non-mash version, which ends much, much sooner, it, they have uh, they've only been somewhat successful and and has allowed Slingshot to find some premier punishes all of the same. As Banana is in Dill's hand, going for the pivot down smash, which sends Slingshot the other way. Oh. Oh, and that is actually going to be Slingshot's first stock. The jetpack not quite making it. That gyro down throw just being such a menace, hitting um, hitting most ledge hangs as well as a ledge jump. It stops Slingshot from getting back to stage and forced them into a SD. These games have been the have been defensive slugfests. Both players not doing anything too crazy from an offensive perspective, but when defense has been the, uh, on the line, neither of them, both of them are just choosing moments to not get hit to play 
a whiff punish kind of game plan, which is why we're seeing these item play be so important, be so important as the down air barely whiffs. The banana did find its mark, but it didn't lead to the full connection because of the setup up air. Dill playing, uh, playing to the strengths of her Rob, which has been this offstage sharking game plan to a T. Slingshot still oh for whatever at this point. <laughs> He's been looking for it so much and just. Dill has been playing around it every time. And there we go, the back air getting Slingshot's second stock. Slingshot now on his uh, winner's stock right now. Hey, gotta wonder if going back to Kalos was the play when a stage like, uh, when a stage like Pokemon Stadium really uh, opened up some of more Diddy's on stage presence. We're, don't, we're not seeing Slingshot take advantage of Kalos too, too much. We're not seeing the, the long cross-stage monkey flips because Dill has scouted them out so effectively. Yeah, no, I feel like most of the, these these two Kalos games have been played mostly at ledge. Yeah. Anytime in center stage is just moving to another ledge. Ashes to ashes, ledge to ledge. <laughs> Seeing the pokes come out from Dill, who's looking to close oh, out this game. Oh, that was such a game. good banana catch. A banana catch into immediate Z drop as the up air comes out, and this damage starts to get rack up very, very highly, almost surpassing, uh, almost surpassing Dill's own damage at this uh, at this rate. Looking for another Z drop with the gyro. Ooh, the pressure by Slingshot. He got the down tilt, but wasn't able to confirm it into anything else. 147, looking for a back air, but not finding it. Still not grabbing ledge yet again, looking for the pressure, but instead just pulled up shield, allowing Slingshot to retake his turn. 125, though, and this is far from out of the woods, especially with some of these banana setups that you're able to scout out roll, which Slingshot has been trying to do with all of these dashes that we see. Uh, removing the gyro, but the dash attack whips, but there's a grab. We get still trapped on that Kalos platform. He wanted a nair dare. That was what they were scouting for. Win condition assessed, but not finding it. And now at 158, any one of these back airs, any one of these up airs even, could close out the stock. That's no monkey flip. But Dill chooses to play a, a, the safer route, not letting Slingshot go through them and instead setting up a lead situation. No jump, but the barrel technician is there. And, uh, oh, up throat. There, there we go. The tombstone. And it crushed straight into the floor. And Dill, after a drawn out slug fest, eventually does close out the stock with this kill throw as Slingshot. Yeah, usually uh, Diddy Kong back air is enough to keep Diddy Kong safe, but Dill expecting at 160 that Slingshot wanted to block, wanted to block perhaps a forward air out of shield that could have been coming or a neutral air. And. Called Dill's him right out. Dill was just ready for it. Yeah, just scooped him up. As wow, what a what a closing set. One that really took both, uh, really led both players to their wits end. So just how much they had to do in order to find little openings. Lots of item play, dash dancing back and forth, ledge trapping, and the layers on layers upon that. But. The set does go in Dill's favor at the end of the day as <laughs> she shrugs seeing the second <laughs> back air come in. Uh, having a kill throw be at those percentages is just so nice because you can, can reliably close out stocks mm -hmm. when it gets hard to do so. The yeah. knockback being so crazy, you're not confirming any hits. You just need to find that grab. Yeah, and I mean, especially, you know, Rob has that privilege to just be able to do it from anywhere on the stage. Yeah. It is. It was extremely strong to see as Dill does punch her ticket into top eight, where she will be coming up against uh, Vivi, who had taken over Carflow in a, that matchup. On the other side, of course, John Numbers will be playing against C, 